Hello everyone, let's look at TCA cycle. After glycolysis is completed in the cytoplasm, you're left with two pyruvate molecules per glucose. Pyruvate has significant amount of energy and is transported into the mitochondria through the pyruvate sim proton symport. Here you see the pyruvate and proton move into the mitochondrial matrix together. This is facilitated by a membrane protein called pyruvate translocase. It's a logical name to remember. Once the pyruvate is inside mitochondria, it goes through oxidative decarboxylation. It is facilitated by pyruvate dehydrogenase and is an irreversible process. Pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA. This produces one NADH. Here is the reaction. So what is acetyl-CoA? It stands for acetyl group with coenzyme A, which acts as a carrier. The energy is between the acetyl group and the CoA group, which is pointed right over here. Tricarboxylic acid cycle, or TCA cycle. It's known by many other names. Here is the overall reaction. It produces three NADH, one FADH2, and a GTP molecule. The enzymes involved in the cycle are compartmentalized and they're soluble in the matrix, except succinate dehydrogenase. Let's briefly go over the TCA cycle. I'll only focus on the reactions which produce NADH, FADH2, and GTP. The first step is going from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. As mentioned before, it is facilitated by pyruvate dehydrogenase and produces NADH. Moving on a few steps, going from diisocitrate to alpha-ketoglutarate produces 1-NADH and is facilitated by isocitrate dehydrogenase. Next step is from alpha-ketoglutarase to succinyl-CoA, which also produces NADH and is facilitated by alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. The next step is going to succinate, which produces GTP and is facilitated by succinyl-CoA synthetase. Followed by that, you make fumarate, which produces FADH2. It is facilitated by succinate dehydrogenase. You then make malate. Malate to oxaloacetate produces 1-NADH and is facilitated by malate dehydrogenase. Finally, oxaloacetate is converted to citrate with another molecule of acetyl-CoA, catalyzed by citrate synthase. Thus, the cycle restarts again. Let's look at the different types of enzymes we've encountered so far and what they do. Kinases use or synthesize ATP. Dehydrogenase, on the other hand, make NADH and FADH2. Synthetase makes or uses ATP. Synthase, on the other hand, does not involve ATP or NADH. Let's look at the net production so far. Do remember, this is per one glucose molecule. From glycolysis, the net production is of 2 ATP and 2 NADH. Going from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA gives 2 NADH. From TCA cycle, we get 2 GTP, 6 NADH, and 2 FADH2. Therefore, the total till now is 4 ATP, 10 NADH, and 2 FADH2. Thank you. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below.